Melody? Hi, Mom. Come here, honey, sit down. Why are you crying? <laughs> honey, let me tell my stories off. What's going on? What's wrong? <laughs> Everything's wrong. Did a choir director um, act mean toward you? No, it's worse. She got fired, and it's my fault. She got fired? Yes, it was my fault. <sighs> Honey, why are you so upset that your teacher got fired? She wasn't treating you fairly. I know, but all the other students hate me. They say that the teacher was like a mother to them. <sighs> well, did the teacher discriminate against any of them? No. I'm the only one she discriminated against. <laughs> and she's fine, and now all the kids hate me. <laughs> Did they get a new director? Yes. But that doesn't matter to them. They're like, we like so much so better. <laughs> and I'm just... <laughs> Give me honey. Listen to me, Melody. <laughs> Come on, wipe your tears away and listen to me. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Okay. You did the right thing by coming to me and your sister. Well, if it's the right thing, why do I feel so awful? Because it's a horrible situation, honey. I know how hard this was for you. But you did the right thing. And by the teacher getting fired, you're keeping her from doing the same stuff that she did to you to other people. You made a difference, Melody. No. No. I don't buy it. It's my fault. Melody, your teacher brought this on herself. <laughs> you just don't understand. Melody. <sighs> Melody. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. I know something's wrong. What happened? Did, did your choir director do something bad to you? Worse. What could be worse than that? It's the kids who are doing stuff bad to me. What do you mean? <laughs> the teacher actually got fired. And all the kids in my choir class hate me. I'm sure not all of them hate you. They do! <laughs> they said that... The choir director was the best teacher they ever had. And the thanks to me, they're going to quit, of course, and then we won't have a choir. Honey, I think she's just... Don't call me honey, you're not mom. Sorry. Melody, I'm sure that they're just saying that to upset you. You stood up for what you believed in. No, it's my fault that the teacher got fired. No, it isn't. The teacher brought this on herself. You were only trying to stick up for what you believed in. Yeah, but you and Mom helped. Yeah? What's that have to do with anything? It's just as much your fault as it is mine. Melody. Yeah, move over. Look. There was no fault on anybody's part about what happened except your teacher. Did you want her to stay and keep discriminating against you? Well, no, but I didn't want her to get fired because uh, the other students are so mad at me. They'll get over it. Maybe they'll like the new director better. Did the new director start? Well, we have a temporary replacement until they can find a permanent replacement. But I'm sh I don't know when we're going to have a permanent replacement, but so far the s students seem to at least tolerate the replacement director, even though she's temporary. But I just feel like I lost so many friends because of what I did. You did the right thing, and so did Mom and me. We all did the right thing. We stood up for you. We stood up for what we believed in.
it's not your fault that your teacher got fired. And it's not mom's fault, and it's not my fault. We weren't the ones discriminated against you. I know. And I know you were trying to do what's best for me, but I just feel like, I don't know. Hey, it'll be okay. I hope so. Come in. Hey guys. Oh, hey Cheyenne. Listen, I really can't hang out. Melody's really upset. I know. I came here to see Melody. Oh. Okay. Yeah, can you leave me and Melody alone for a few minutes? Sure. You'll be okay, Melody. Thanks. So what's, what's up, Mary Ellen? Your mother told me what happened and how upset you are. Yeah, what do you care? I do care. I'm so sorry you're so upset. Well, I am upset, but what can you do about it? Did you know I went through something similar to this? Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. Before I moved here, when I first, when I first went to my current foster home, my foster sister didn't like me just because she said I wasn't her real sister just because I was adopted. Really? Yes, really. And I felt like a freak. I felt like unwanted, even if it was just by my sister. But now we get along really well. I'm glad. But what does that have to do with me? What I mean is I'm, I know how it feels not to belong. And I know how hard it was for you to talk to your family about what happened with you and your choir director. But things are going to get better. Really? I don't know. Listen, just try to believe me. Things will get better. Okay? Why do you care so much about me anyway? Aren't you Cheyenne's friend? Cheyenne is like family to me. And you're part of that family. Thanks. Come here. It'll be okay. Yeah. You know, maybe I should talk to Cheyenne and my mom. I was unfair to them. Okay, I'm going to head home then. Mary Ellen, thank you. No problem. <sighs> Mom, I don't know, Susie, she's really angry with us. Honey, she'll get over it. She is getting over it. Mary Ellen, you talked to Melody already? Yeah, and she wants to see you. Okay. I told her I'll, I had to go home because I think you, the three of you need to talk. Do you, want, do you want to go to Melody's room or do you want me to go back and ask her to come here? Ask her to come here. Okay, well, and then I'm going to go. Okay, thanks for helping us. No problem. You guys are like another family to me. Well, I better go. Bye. Bye. Sometimes I'm not sure if we did the right thing if it got my sister so upset. We did do the right thing. Don't you start thinking we made a mistake. I'll try not to. Hey guys, can I talk to you? Oh honey, we would love that. Have a seat. So what's up? First off, I never really thanked you for helping me out with this whole discrimination thing. It's no problem. Honey, we did it because we love you. We didn't know you'd get so upset. No, I shouldn't have gotten upset. I was just upset. I wasn't necessarily upset about the teacher getting fired and I wasn't upset with you guys. I was upset because the kids were being mean to me. 
I know deep down we did the right thing. But it still feels horrible. Hey, the kids will get used to the new teacher, and before you know it, it will be like none of this ever happened. But nothing will ever be the same again in that choir because the, te the main teacher is not coming back. No, it may not be the same, but who knows? Maybe it'll be maybe it'll be better. You really think so? I really do. And honey, we wouldn't do anything to hurt you. I know, and I'm sorry that I got angry with you guys. I was just upset about the kids hating me. It's okay, we understand. Yes, would you like to talk more about it? Thanks, but I'm feeling better. Well, that's good, because we made your favorite spaghetti and meatballs. Really? Mm-hmm. We thought you needed some cheering up. Yeah. So, um, why don't you get washed up and we'll have dinner? Okay. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Think she'll be okay? I think so. We make a great team, don't we, Mom? <laughs> yes, we do. Broken down and tired Of living life on a merry-go-round And you can't find the fighter But I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out And move mountains We're gonna walk it out And move And our eyes are our eyes.